Now what I want to do here, I want to push that envelope, either get more negative react or get him to say, it's okay. Do you have a horse that is hard to get up in the saddle? Tell me about it down below. Most of the time when you have a horse that is hard to get on, there's other issues. But pretty often a horse that is hard to catch is also hard to get on. This is Scout. This is the one that I have been working on and just did the hard to catch video on. If you didn't see that, I'll put a link to it so you can take a look at it. And also one of his issues is he doesn't want to stand at the mountain block to get on, which the two kind of go together. And I've talked over the last several videos, the kind of the running theme has been building a relationship with him, a mutually beneficial relationship. So that he gets something out of the relationship, which what he needs is a leader. And I want a horse that I can ride and do things with. That's what the owner wants. So that's how this mutually beneficial relationship works. In the process, he's getting the leadership. We're not changing directions yet. Go on. He's getting the leadership. And we're asking him to work. And we're building that relationship with work. Not building it with treats. That's not the kind of relationship we want. Go ahead and change directions. Head to me. Stuff to my left. Send. So now that I have established with him how he's going to benefit from this relationship. You saw how that worked when I did the catching video. Now I want him to put a little bit more effort into what I'm going to get out of the relationship. So I'm going to ask him to work a little harder, give me a little bit more. And when he gives me a little more, I'll give him a little more. He needs to work a little harder and I'll give him a little more reward. I'm asking him to put a little bit more effort into his lunging and we're working towards me riding him and that's going to be more work for him. So that's how I'm going to benefit. And I'm going to ask him to put more effort. In the other video I did, the last video I did, you saw how he was a little bit pushy on the lead rope. So that's part of what he needs to get better at. He needs to lead better. He needs to put more effort into giving me work and respect. He needs to put more effort into being the horse that I would like him to be. And when he does, I'll give him the reward. I didn't ask for change of direction. I'm not going to scold him hard there. He's looking to change directions. I don't want to change the directions. I'm going to send him forward. I'm not going to be hard on him for trying to do what he thinks I want. But it's going to get to a point where I am going to get a little bit harder if it looks to me like he's trying to use that as a means of getting out of work, which kind of looks like what we're leading to. Like I said, I'm starting to ask him to work a little harder. He's not used to the level of work that I'm asking for. So he's starting to put a little effort into trying things to get out of the work. So now the, the object of this work today that I'm doing with him is I want to work him to stand at the mountain block to get on. I've used lunging as a means of building our relationship. And I'm going to use that to continue the building for the mounting block. Change directions again, good boy. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reward him for the work that he gave me. Good boy, reward with pets, reward with attention. I didn't include saddling in this video. I did that in another video. There was no use in repeating that because you've already seen it with him. Now what I wanna do I'm going to give him the reward of standing and I want him to stand at this mounting block. 
I have no intention of riding off. So I am not worried about putting reins on the bridle. I just have the, the lead rope attached. Now he's backing up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step down and I'm going to lunge him forward. Right here at this mounting block is where he gets to rest. Effort into going forward. I'm going to change directions. If you remember in the videos before with him, his left side is better than his right. What I'm doing today with stepping up on the mounting block, I'm not real concerned about stepping up on the right. I do want to work everything together. Everything needs to be done from both sides. But he's ready to be stepped up from the left. He's not ready to be stepped up from the right. When you're training a horse, you have to remember that you're training both sides of that horse. His left side is progressing faster than his right side. I'm going to do what can be done on his left side and I'll eventually progress his right side with it. It's just running a little bit behind. Now I'm going to let him stand at the mountain block and pat on him. You notice I do things like throwing the lead rope over. I'm not going to hide anything from him. I want this horse to be broke. I want him to be okay with everything. See what he does when I step up on the mounting block. He started to shift his weight away as soon as I put my foot up here, so I just stop right here. Everything builds. One step builds off another. I don't have to go straight from here to there patting on him. I can use this as an in-between step. I need to reinforce the correct answer. Reinforce what I want him to do. And if standing here with my foot on the mountain block teaches him that this is what I want, then that's what I'm going to do. Good boy. Now let's see what happens if I step up here. Good boy. I'm going to re reinforce that this is a good place to be. Now, I'm not going to step up from here. I want him to want to be here. If I step up right now, that's going to undo the petting that I'm doing right here. You build stepping stones, like steps. Step up, step down. Bring him forward, reinforce. Everything that you do with your horse, now instead of lunging, I'm just going to walk him away. Everything that you do with your horse, you're just reinforcing the behavior that you want. He stood at the mounting block. That's the behavior that I wanted. I petted him. I rewarded him for that. Now instead of lunging, we're just going for a walk together. And we'll do it again. When I'm working this, I like to have him face in different directions as I work through it. It gives him different things to look at. A minute ago, I don't know what he was looking at, something over there, but I have had horses kind of look at something and focus on that and tune out everything else around him. So for me, it's important that as I work this, we face different directions. Let's see if I can skip that one step and just go right up here. It's important that I have them face different directions and look at different things so they don't focus on one thing throughout the whole process and tune me out. That's when you see or hear somebody say the horse was good and they got on a horse and then it just broke in two. That's the kind of thing that happens. The horse that was blocking you out, ignoring you, and then it got to a point where it couldn't block you out anymore and it was just over oversaturated at senses. Let's walk away. Reward the correct behavior. Reward him doing what I asked him to do. And if he's licking and chewing, come on. Come take a walk. 
I never lead a horse side by side like you see a lot of people do. I always lead with me ahead. Uh, this is the arrangement that I want when I'm leading him. I want to be the leader. I want him to be the follower. We're going to turn a little bit more so that he's looking at something different. Go straight up the step. We're trying to progress and pet on him. I took less time getting up here. Still going to pet on him and reward him. This is the point that I was up to last time. I'm going to challenge this a little bit more. He just took a real nice deep exhale. This is a broke horse. It's not like a young two-year-old or three-year-old that you're starting. It's not like starting a young horse. He knows what's about to happen. Come on, let's go for a walk. He knows what's going to happen. I applied the pressure there. I released the pressure and we walked away. Same pressure and release as everything else. Face a little bit different direction. Now you notice how I'm keeping the lead rope. If he was to scoot away, I want to be able to get his head to me so that he doesn't kick me with his back feet if he was to leave. He took that one step back. Tells me that he's a little bit worried. He knows what the next step that's going to come and he's a little bit concerned about it. He took a step back and he quit. Now what I want to do here I want to push that envelope, see what I can either either get more negative reaction or get him to say, okay, it's okay. So I'm going to kind of put a little bit more pressure on him and see what happens. He's not in a real great place for the mounting block, but even though he took that one step back, he doesn't seem like he wants to take another step back. Put a little pressure in the stirrup. He stood still. We're going to walk away. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He thought about giving me a response I did not want. And he changed his mind. That's great. I'm not going to punish him for that one step he took away when he was considering doing the wrong answer. Doing the wrong thing. If I would have immediately punished him for that, it would have set this whole process back. I gave him a chance to decide, no, nah, that's not really the one thing I want to do. Then he changed his mind. He gave me the thing I wanted. This is a really nice horse. I like how he thinks things through. I like that about him. He just needs a leader. He needs he needs somebody to tell him it's okay. Good boy. Good boy. And as you see, stepping up in the saddle today really wasn't much of a problem. According to the owner, it has been a pretty big problem in the past. But because of the preparatory work that I did, getting him easier to catch, preparing him being a leader, that me, preparing his mind for me to be the leader and him being accepting of that, stepping up in the saddle is really mostly a non-issue. It's because I did my homework ahead of time. Do you have a horse that is hard to get up in the saddle? Tell me about it down below. Most of the time when you have a horse that is hard to get on, there's other issues. Being hard to mount 
is a symptom. If you have a horse that's hard to mount, what are the other symptoms? What is the other situation in that horse's life that that horse does not have the confidence in you? If it's an older horse, sometimes with a younger horse, it's just trying to evade the work that it knows it's coming. Usually one of those two things. The horse is trying to not work. There are a few other cases where you need to actually make the horse work harder if it doesn't want you to get on. All has to do with that horse's mindset. If you have a horse that's hard to get on, does your horse accept you as its leader? That is generally a running theme with horses, older horses, that don't want you to get on. They don't really accept you as their leader. And what will happen, that runs over to not just being hard to get on, that runs over into other things. Hard to load in the trailer. Hard to catch, hard to mount, all kind of a running theme when horses don't accept you as a leader. Horse is chewing, he's okay. He's, he accepts what I'm asking him to do. You've seen some videos that I've done, one more step. Some videos that I've done, I made him take that one step because he stopped short of the mounting block. I wanted to make sure that he was not stopping there because of avoiding the mounting block. So I wanted to get one more step. I wanted to make sure that he stopped when I asked him to stop, not when he wanted to stop. So you've seen me do some videos where I'll lunge them harder and make them work harder, work, work in the mounting block. That's because of what's going on in that horse's mind. I like how this horse progressed today. I like how it responded to what I asked him to do. It was really nice about getting on the mounting block. This is Scout. I'll put a link to the other videos that I've done of him up top. I'm really impressed with how he responded to what I asked him to do today with the mounting block. This is going to end up being a really nice horse. Until next time, thank you for watching.